the northern crater. This is where Genova fell from the sky 2,000 years ago. Hold up, hold up! You're telling me Sephiroth's mama's so fat she fell from space and made a crater? Savage. So, if she fell from the sky, wouldn't that make her, like, an alien? What? If there's alien shit going down, then I'm in! Yo, how the f*** did he do that? <laughs> you sure about this, Sid? It's gonna be dangerous. Listen, Fists, I'm all about space, so that includes aliens. And if there's one down this hole that its fat ass made, then you best know I'm in this shoulder deep. Oh, you use that phrase too? Zangan was a good dom. You mean teacher? I know what I fucking said. We have to finish what the Cetra started. Once we destroy Genova, the planet will be able to heal. And when we kill Sephiroth, so will we. At long last, I finally found it. The promised land. Oh, looks like we can count that as another victory for the Shinra Corporation. <laughs> yes. Along with wasting gill on transportation, investing in loot saucers, and creating a network for morons to share nonsensical images to each other. Y'all talking about memes? I'm not sure if you noticed, but I become something the kids these days would hashtag as a Meme Zaddy. Oh, that's splendid, Heidegger. And I must say, I'm so proud of you and your beard's glow up. Thanks, Scarlet. The trick was to put the flan butter in my beard instead of my mouth. Can we cease this buffoonery and focus on me and my accomplishments, please? Yes, Heidegger. Let's shower Rufus with the constant praise his ego so desperately needs before he inevitably loses his throne. Come again? I said congratulations, sir. You found the promised land. I did, didn't I? Ha ha ha, take that, Dad. Everything's going according to plan. <laughs> yes, as planned. <laughs> did you just show up? The reunion is near. What the f*** are these walking trash bags supposed to be? Hey, these are the same people from Nibelheim. Why are they here? Sephiroth. He's summoning them. <laughs> Sephiroth! Cloud, we're so glad you made it to the reunion. It's over, Sephiroth. We're here to kill you and Genova. <laughs> Really? The only reason you're here is to kill me? And the real Sephiroth? Wait, real Sephiroth? Oh, this is getting us nowhere! Just bring out your mother! Oh, Cloud, don't you see? I am my mother. That's a whole lot of what the fuckery to unpack. You know so little. When will you realize that you're just like these mindless followers? You're just... a... puppet. Oh, come on! Oh, not again! Ah! Holy f***, it's an alien! I promise no harm shall come to you! Ah, you mother f***er, I'ma kill you! All right, game plan. TV will distract you with a barrage of attacks while I prepare Soldier Bolt. Then Sid will- Welcome to Earth, bitch! Yeah, pretty much that. Finally, it's ours again. Now all we gotta do is take out the real Sephiroth, and it'll all be over. So, what, Genova used pieces of itself to transform into Sephiroth and lead us here? Why? How do we know if the real Sephiroth is even- He is. I can feel it. Okay. Well, if the three of us are gonna keep going, then someone else should stay behind to keep the Black Materia safe. Good call. I know just who to give it to. I would be honored! Garrett? Promise me something. Don't fuck up, okay? Damn, Cloud. You all right. But are you sure y'all are prepared for this? Of course. I'm prepared for it. This. This is what my father dreamed of his entire life. Oh, I do wish he were here. I'd have loved to have seen the look on his face when he saw that it was I, not he who would elevate the Shinra name to its proper prestige. Empires fall quicker the higher they rise. Unlimited Marco energy. Shinra, 
now controls the promised land. Shinra controls nothing. I beg your pardon? The promised land. It isn't real. It never was. <laughs> what the? Hojo, what's going? <laughs> and the one who truly has control is him. Uh, Cloud? Cloud, wake up! Uh, you have to uh, see this. Cloud, try not to freak out. <laughs> Not the reaction I was expecting. <laughs> Guys, relax! This is all just an illusion that Sephiroth made up to try and freak us out. Might be a little late for that. Well, well, just as I thought. Sephiroth's using the memory from five years ago to mess with us. See? There's Sephiroth, Ramirez, and me. What's up with my hair? <laughs> oh, I get it, it's a wig! No one would have hair that ridiculous. Sorry, Seth, dog, but if you really wanted to get under my skin, you'd... Oh, that's low. Holy shit, it's Zangan! His fist will save the day, right? Right? Cloud, I don't want to see any more of this. Stay strong, Tifa. We'll get through this. You hear that, Sephiroth? We're on to your trick! Oh, and what trick would that be, Cloud? Making me think I was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Well, I was, because I remember it all. The heat of the fire, the feelings of betrayal, everything. I'm disappointed in you, Cloud. After everything I've shown you, you still refuse to accept the reality. The hell are you talking about? Your own memories are the true illusion. From returning to Nibelheim, to all your feelings, even to believing who you think you are. Cloud, don't listen to- Relax, Tifa, he's just trying to mess with me. I'm not who I think I am. What, like I'm not actually Cloud or something? <laughs> Correct. Huh? You're just a failed experiment created by Dr. Hojo after I destroyed Nibelheim. An experiment? That's not true. Think, Cloud, remember when we were kids? What about the time we were on the water tower? Yeah. I remember that. Or the time I broke into my dad's liquor cabinet and made you try my drinks. That I don't remember as much. Or the time when I wanted to see how spiky your hair was. So this I is gonna water take me. a while. Update! Black materia secured! Do you have to say that every five minutes? Wallace Wisdom number 54. Consistency is key. Yeah, but dude! Wallace Wisdom number 39. Don't talk back to your f***ing elders. Oh, God damn it! I didn't follow Wallace Wisdom number 420. Never eat any of Red Snacks! Barrett! Tifa! Oh, thank God. I thought I was smelling the cosmos. Wait, where's Cloud? He's in trouble. Please, he needs your help. Oh, Blondie needs Barrett to help him out. Big damn surprise. Thank you, Barrett. You're, You're a real, real lifesaver. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was that time with the fireworks. You guys sucked as kids. Perhaps some physical proof is needed. Remember the picture we took before we went to Mount Nibble? Come see it. Cloud, please, don't. Hey, relax! I should be in the picture. And even if I'm not, it's just an illusion. <laughs> right? Let's see who's in this picture. There's me, looking happy. And there's Tifa, looking sad. And there's Cloud. Or should I say, Zack. <laughs> Zack, he was. <laughs> he left town to join soldiers. He looked just like you. Zack was my boyfriend. Zack was in Nibelheim five years ago. Where was I? Cloud. How did I get into soldier? Don't listen. Was I ever in soldier? Cloud, you have to. Am I? I'm. <laughs> Cloud. I'm Cloud. I'm not Cloud. How in the sit, old boy? How's the unemployment line? Not as long as the shadow of your daddy you've been standing under. You bitch. Welcome to the reunion. <laughs> Who are you again? I don't. No. Cloud, I heard you f***ed up, so I came as soon as I could! 
Do you have the black materia? Black, did you hear me? Yeah? I still got it. Give it to me. Black, you listen? You, uh, feeling all right, Cloud? Never been better. Now that I know the truth. My experiment was a complete success. <laughs> Tell me, what number did I give you? You never gave me a number. No number? Then that would make you a failure. You're right. I am a... What the f*** is going on? A second that! That failure is a Sephiroth clone I created five years ago. I took the survivors of the Nibelheim incident and injected them with Sephiroth's genes, giving numbers to clones I deemed as worthy and tossing away the failures. I'm a failure. My reunion theory proposed that Genova's body would become one again if it were ever dismembered. It was never a pursuit. It was a summon. But something happened. The corpse from Midgar, as well as the clones, all came to this location. Not by Genova's will, but by his. Hey, it's been a while. That dude ain't got no legs! That dude is Sephiroth! The real Sephiroth! <laughs> Recently. Okay, let's go. What the? Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Holy shit! Tampa! Breaking news! Giant monsters known as weapons of... Tom? You're f***ing with me. Sam, I I is this a thing that's happening right now? Well, the footage is a week old. A week?! These things have been wandering around for a week and no one has bothered to tell me?! And weapon?! That's the best you could come up with?! It was in some notes we found. Look, look, Tom, Tom, I get it, okay? You're freaking out. It flies, Sam! It f***ing flies! Can we, can we please be professional and move on to our other story? I'm sorry, Sam, but no! There is nothing else Look, we gotta report that Shinra's Most Wanted have been captured and- Oh my god, Shinra's Most Wanted has been captured, yay! They were such a big threat! They're f***ing people, Sam! These are giant- f***ing monsters! There is no other news that is bigger than this. Um, I'm done. Tom, come I'm on. out. Don't, I'm don't out. Don't slow roll fuck away. You and fuck the news. God damn it. At least the sensor guy was on point. You're fucking welcome. B Barrett? Hey, you took a hell of a spill on the high wind. Knocked you unconscious for about a week. Ugh, yeah, smells like I've been out for a week. What's been going down? Eh, nothing much. Those giant ass monsters have been wreaking havoc all over the planet. There's a giant barrier over a northern crater protecting Sephiroth. And Shinra brought us to Junon while everyone else done fucked off after we escaped. So yeah, longest f***ing Tuesday of my life. Okay, but what happened with- Tifa, I say this with zero humorous intent. Cloud, he f***ed up. Mother of Shiva. How much longer until impact? Not sure. Apparently Rufus has a plan, but... It's Shinra, so... Oh, we're pretty much prisoners, right? Are we able to call somebody for help? Yeah, I tried that. Hey, Pastilla! Now I know things with Tsunami didn't work out, but... Beckham. Hello, 
Avalanche. I hope you are both doing well. I'm just here to inform y'all that the all-you-can-eat buffet and showers are now open. And yes, that is very much a jab at you, Tifa. My god, woman, I can smell you from here. Oh, that's funny. I can smell your bullshit from here, too. Now, now, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just trying to make y'all comfortable before your execution. I'm sorry, you want to say that the f*** again? See, now, this is why I didn't want to open with that. But yes, y'all are going to be executed live on the Shintranet for millions to see. What the hell, man? We didn't do nothing! Well, there's the bombings meddling in my affairs, and this is the biggest one, by the way. See that giant ball in the sky that isn't the sun that's about to fall down on us? Yeah. Your friend caused that, and since we don't know where he is... Wait, wait, wait. wait. You guys haven't found Cloud? Honestly? With everything, plus finding out the thing my father's been searching for his entire life was nothing more than a fairy tale, <laughs> has left me in a questionable state of mind. So I just let Scarlet and Heidegger take care of it. And since they haven't told me anything, we're all just kind of assuming... Don't you fucking say it. Tifa, just because I don't say anything doesn't make it any less true. Pardon me for sliding into your DMs, sir, but the stream is all set and ready to go. Also, the showers have stopped working and the breakfast buffet is just melon. You breakfast betraying motherfuckers! Also, if you could not swear on stream, that would be great. We're trying to keep this public execution PG. Oh, well, in that case, f your breakfast, f your shower, f your suit, f those chairs, f these computers, f these stairs, f this hallway, f this chamber, oh, and most importantly, yeah. I wouldn't talk so big if I were you, slum girl. No one's coming to save you. Not Barrett or Sid or... What was the name of that cute, blonde, spiky-haired man you were always tagging along with? It was something stupid, right? How did I knock you the fuck out to help jog your memory, you bitch? Baroness! Regardless, he couldn't come to save you even if he wanted to. Not in the shape we found him in. <laughs> All right, mods. Time to give these losers with nothing better to do a show. Alert. Weapon approaching. It's Alert. weapons! to die! Come back weapon here! God, what do I don't pay you for? Hey, Scarlet, I know this might be a letdown to our viewers, but to some of us, we find it... a gaff. <laughs> this! Hey! <laughs> Sorry, Scarlet. You look like you could have used a nap. So could I. Forever. Kate Seth! What the- I'll explain later, but for right now, we gotta make like a conceited tennis ball and biggity bounce! Don't you ever fucking touch my catchphrase ever again. And we ain't leaving without Tifa! Spirit, what the hell are you doing? I'm free you! The hell's it sound like? Sounds like you're not making much progress. Shut the fuck up! Forget about me! Just go! Tifa! Just go find Cloud. We'll be back for you! I promise! All right, Barry. If we want to get out of here and save Tifa, we got to toss aside You our... just gave me an idea! Oh, boy! Oh, okay, we can leave now. Sir, everything is prepared for weapons arrival. Good. Prepare to blow that monster to smithereens. Oh, I thought you wanted to bring the weapon on as a guest for the stream. We are not bringing that thing on stream. We're going to show that weapon the full, unbridled power of the Shinra Corporation. Destroy that weapon and fire! Heidegger. And fire! Heidegger, nothing's happening. And fire! Heidegger, and fire! It's and getting fire! closer. And fire! Heidegger, and fire! it's almost and here! Fire! Heidegger, and stop and saying fire! fire! Oh, goddammit! You sure they're gonna be here? Any second now. And once they're here, we go back and save Tifa! Good. Because when I get my hands on Shinra, all they're gonna be able to do is grin and bear. Is this where we're meeting? I fucking hate teenagers. <laughs> gotta... Come on, gotta get out of here. <laughs> gotta save Cloud! <laughs> oh. oh, finally. Everything has calmed down. Heidegger! Do something! I'm on it, sir! I'm filming this for our Instagram! Heidegger, please! I don't wanna die to no, another failure like my father! So I got the cannon working. That works! <laughs> There's nowhere left.
left for you to run. Now be a good girl and come take the punishment you deserve. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Stop laughing! I am the only one who laughs! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's just... It's funny that you think that that's what's going to happen. Yes, that's exactly what... Now shut the f*** up. This is what's going down. I'm going to beat the f*** out of you so badly that your face will be my new bull that I eat my tank ceratops cereal out of. And yes, your blood will be the milk. But since I'm such a good girl, I can let you off with that warning. If you tell me where Cloud is. H how dare you! I will not be spoken down to by filthy slum gutter trash! You are in the presence of the Baron! Bow down, bitch. Tifa! Grab on! We're getting the hell out of here! <laughs> Welcome aboard the High Wind, Fisks! Thanks, I almost died! And other than Yuffie being sick on the deck. Uh... Everyone's here! I'm in the corner. No, not everyone. Yeah, about that. Captain, we've got a hit on Cloud's location. Wait, you guys found Cloud? How? Let's just say I... They said that I heard it from one of Scarlet's men because he's a fucking spy. Okay, thanks for the rude summary. So how's that apology for throwing me at that door coming along? Oh, it's non-existent. Both of you, shut up! How much longer till we reach him? Probably be about any minute now. But look, fists, there's something you... I can't you... believe it. He's really alive. Don't worry, Cloud. When we find you, I'll tell you everything. And when I do, everything will be better. Right, Cloud? Cloud? What? What's wrong? What happened to him? I'm sorry, ma'am. But I'm afraid your friend's suffering from Mako poisoning. Probably due to exposure from high levels of Mako energy for an extended period of time. Is that what he uses to keep his hair so spiky? Dude, really? How long will he be like this? It's hard to say. It's been a week since we found him like this, and still no progress. Now, I'm not saying he's completely a vegetable, but he would fit well in a stew. The f is wrong with you, man? Hey, don't knock until you try it. I couldn't clear. Sid, Yuffie, tell the others I'm not coming back. Whoa, hold on! You can't just leave us! We're a family! Cloud's my family, and he needs me right now. Come on, Yuffie. Let's go. I'm sorry. Gentlemen, I think I speak for us all when I say that this situation has done f***ed us all up. Especially Yuffie. I hate flying! <laughs> She's really been pouring her guts out about it. Yummy. We're all in this together now. There ain't no getting off this train. So if y'all got any suggestions... Actually, I... Suggestions that aren't from people who work for Shinra. Trust me, Barrett, I think you're gonna wanna hear what the people from Shinra are talking about. I'm glad you're all here. Hold on, is that Rufus Shinra? Yep, I'm spying on him right now. Shut the f up, I'm trying to listen. Now, before we get started, I'd like to know... Did you lose weight, Uncle Palmer? I know, he looks great. You're right. Every pilot is in on the conspiracy. Now then, I must confess something to all of you. My goal for this company was one of selfishness. I continued my father's quest to find the promised land, not to honor him, but to spite him. To do the one thing he couldn't do, and to prove to him, myself, and everyone else, that I know how to run an empire. With 36 trillion gil in debt. But after the incident with the weapon, and almost meeting my untimely demise, it's made me realize something. It's time Shinra changes its course of operation. And that starts with ending our first ever Shin Flicks original series. Trace the results of the vehicular stars! It did jump the shark after season six, huh? This might be the concussion talking, but that's a great idea, Rufus. Shinra needs to end its ridiculous venture in new media and return to its roots as a world-conquering international corporate enterprise. <laughs> oh, Shinra's not going to conquer the world, Scarlet. We are going to save it. What? 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 I'm glad you asked, Uncle Palmer. We're going to use huge materia 
to blast Meteor into smithereens, and when the people see that it was Shinra that saved them, they look at us as, as gods! Heroes. I mean heroes, yes. Hey, don't we already got a bunch of huge material? <laughs> Indeed we do, Heidegger, but having more wouldn't hurt. Scarlet, I'm putting you in charge of gathering the remaining huge materia from Fort Condor and Corel. I trust you'll ask them nicely. Oh, don't worry, Mr. President. I'll make sure to be as ruthlessly polite as possible. Wow. Sounds like Shinra's actually gonna save the world. We gotta stop them! What? Why? Using the materia to blow up Meteor actually sounds like a pretty good idea! What part of blasting a high amount of unstable energy into our atmosphere sounds like a good idea to you? The blowing up part. Plus, they wanna f with Corral! And that giant bird that totally ended up not being pointless. And if they wanna f with my hometown and Red's unexplained fascination with that giant bird at Fort Condor! I just think it's hot. Then it's TikTok, my day ass. And when the alarm goes up, they're gonna wake up to an avalanche of justice led by me. Yo, the hell makes you think you're qualified to lead avalanche time? The f is an avalanche time. Did this motherfucker? He did. Look, I come from a long line of sins, and even though most of us are different in some way, there's one thing we all have in common, and that's when things get tough, sins get shit done. Or if you want to find someone else to fly you anywhere, be my fucking guest. Fine, whatever, you're the leader, shit. Now before we head off, I'm gonna go make myself a nice hot cup of goddamn... How the f vomited on the poop deck? If he's mad now, wait till he sees what I left on the vomit deck. Shinra's hitting two places at once, so we're gonna need to split up. I always knew that one day, fate would bring us heroes with the strength to oppose Shinra. Today is that day. Don't worry, Commander. I'm giving you my best squad to help you out. We are forever grateful to both you and the skilled tacticians you have lent us. Oh, look, we need to micromanage. We have resources. They need to be put in proper places. You've doomed them all. Here's the game plan, boys. While Baird and I are inside the reactor fucking shit up, Red will be sniffing out the huge materia. Once that son bitch is ours, we get the hell out of here and blow this motherfucker sky high! I like the way you think, Sid. This plan seems a tad confuzzling. Why would we look for the huge materia inside the reactor when it was on that train that just passed by? What? Why didn't you tell me? I was enthralled by your swears. Damn it! There ain't no getting on that train now! Unless this calls for speed. What kind of speed? Avalanche speed! Did you take your foot off the avalanche brake? Great question! There are no brakes on the avalanche train! Now, we're just gonna sneakily jump on board. Avalanche, avalanche train. train! You guys shut up before they hear us! Intruders! Mother f Sorry, but we ain't getting off this train. Fine by me. Nothing's gonna stop this train from reaching garage oh, my life! That was some fast thinking thinking of the only guy who knows how to control this train. We gotta stop this train before it reaches Corral! What'll happen if we don't stop it? <laughs> Maybe brakes on an avalanche train is a good idea. God damn it, I'm a rocket scientist, not a train scientist! I don't know how these controls work! It's just like you said, Barrett. There ain't no getting this train off. You get points for trying. I, I, I don't know what to do. There's one thing you can do, Sid. Believe. Believe in what? Avalanche time, motherfucker! Barrett, did y'all just save our town from becoming a literal ass train wreck? I guess we did. We'll just grab what we need and be on our way. Oh, no, 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 baby! You ain't going nowhere. Because we want to say something. We f***ed up. We're sorry for the way we treated you, Barrett. Years ago, we all wanted Shinra to build a Mako reactor here. So we're all at fault. We want you to have this, as a way of saying sorry. What is it? Something everyone's been waiting for. Bahamut Hearts 3 Remind. We'll take it. Now I'm even more fucking confused. I promise y'all, we're gonna take care of Meteor and save the planet. Just like Dan would have wanted. Man, 
that media. We're miners. We just dig ourselves deep enough and media won't even hit us. Dig in your own graves? Great idea. Ooh, that sounded like something Mog would say. Yeah, it does. I wonder how they're doing. I'm starting to think that today was not the day. What do you mean, it is? Farewell, old friend. Fate has claimed you. But you leave behind a heroic legacy and a beautiful child. Ah! Ah, baby, what were they? Ah, baby, what? Fate's a bitch. Mission accomplished, y'all! Personally, I think we could have done a better job at Fort Condor. Yeah, now what are they gonna do with that giant baby bird? Not eat it? Look. What matters is that we got the huge materia before those numbskulls at Shinra. Now, there's just one thing left to do. Hey. Hey. So, uh, we stopped Shinra from stealing some huge materia. Barrett really wanted to show it to you guys. It's larger than average! Cool. Seems like you're doing fine without us. Look, Tifa, I, I can't do this alone. I know he's your friend, but... Don't, Sid. Okay? Just... This, all of this, everything, is it's because of me. Okay? It's my fault. And... And what? You guys just gonna sit here and wait till Meteor comes and kills both of y'all? I'm not leaving Cloudside. I'm gonna stay with him till the end. Uh, <laughs> the end might come sooner than expected! I have a life stirring. Cloud, did you just... The hell is going on out there? Sweet Dragoon on a cracker, it's a goddamn earthquake! We gotta get the hell out of here! But what about Cloud? Grab him! Come on, we gotta hurry! This whole place is about to fall apart. We have to get out of here. No can do. I made a Hippocratic oath that whenever things turn sideways bad, I'll go down with the ship. I isn't that for captains? And now you know why I'm such a bad doctor. Cloud, uh, I, I know you're scared. <laughs> But I'm gonna do you a solid and protect you, no matter what. See you in hell, man! years really flew by, didn't it? Five. Ah! Do you remember the last time we saw each other? Ah! Sure do. Sure do! I joined Soldier, came back home, went up Mount Nibel, saw Nibelheim get burned to the ground, fought Sephiroth, took a nap, and now I'm here. How did you know about Nibelheim? Uh, cause I was there. I mean, that's a pretty hard thing not to remember. It's not like someone injected memories into me or something, right? <laughs> That'd be weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, real weird. I gotta say, you worrying about me is a breath of fresh air. Back when we were kids, the teeth I remembered used to always trick me into doing things that would jeopardize my future and well-being. Uh, psych! <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Just like when you were kids, you dumb asshole. <laughs> oh, goody. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what you been up to recently? Uh, you finally get a job? Do you count being a former first-class soldier a job? No. Then I am unemployed. You know, if, uh, I mean, if, if you're looking to make a quick buck, I got some friends that are about to do a mission. I mean, nothing crazy or violent or illegal or anything like that. As long as you don't f*** up, things should go smoothly. So, what do you say? 
Want to do me a solid? Uh, do it or your pube hair is going straight into your mouth all the way down to your goddamn stomach. All right, fine, I'll do it! Uh, just like back in the day. <laughs> yep, just like back in the day. Five years ago. <laughs> but it wasn't five years ago. It was seven. Cloud, I lied to you about everything. I'm sorry. <clears throat> what? What is this place? Tifa? Cloud? Why are you... Everywhere. This place... Oh, it's your subconscious, isn't it? I don't know. Do you have any idea why you're here? I don't know. I do. You're looking for the truth. Trying to piece together broken memories. Right? I don't know. Okay, not really much help right now. But it's okay. Because I'm gonna help you find the truth. I'm scared. No, you are, Cloud. But it... It has to be done. I don't know... Where to start. I think I do. Nibelheim. Five years ago. This was... a mission. That's right. What do you remember? I remember... Sephiroth... was there. Good. Anything else? He killed a dragon and made her children orphans. Probably starved to death. Sweet multi-kill. I remember you telling us that. But I don't think that's actually what happened. And if it did, you wouldn't have known. Five years ago, you never came back to Nibelheim. I know because... Because I, I waited for you. But you never came. It was Zack that came to Nibelheim? Yes, it was. Why didn't you tell me? Because I was scared. Scared that if I told you the truth that, that something would have happened to you. But I was wrong. I, mean, I lied to you all this time and look where we are. Does that mean that Hojo was right? That I'm not Cloud? No. No, you are Cloud. Because if you weren't, then this wouldn't have happened. Do you remember? This was the first time we met. You introduced yourself, asked if I wanted to do you a solid. I said your eyes were pretty. I wasn't looking at your eyes. Yeah, I had a feeling. I remember we were here on this water tower too, but I didn't say... Hi, my name's Tifa. Wanna do me a solid? I think it was... I'm thinking of joining a fisting academy. Wait, hold on. I fucking love dolphins, bro. No. I said, why did you ask me up here? Tifa, what do you remember from that night? I remember being up on the water tower, starry night sky, the sounds of Zangen training. It's just some details, like why we were up there. It's just kind of, kind of blurry to me. Tifa, were we ever friends? Yeah, of course we were. No, we weren't. We were never friends? I'll show you. Hey, it's, this is my room. Those were your real friends. What are we gonna do today, Tifa? We can do something dangerous for your amusement. I'll drink whatever you make. Wow, these kids are... Dumb, stupid, and immature. Yeah, I thought you all were. That's why I never hung out with you guys. Or... You guys never hung out with me. Wait, I, if we never did, then how do you know what- Hey look! Isn't that Cloud? What does he want? Want us to go beat him up for ya? No. This... Let him in. Wait... I remember now. I live next door to you. 
I used to only see what your room looked like from the outside. But I wanted to see you today. Because... Today was the day... My mom died. You wanted to climb Mount Nibble to find your mom. I followed you to make sure you were alright. But when I got to the bridge... <laughs> Tifa missed a step. I ran in to save her, but I didn't make it in time. I only scraped my knee when we fell hundreds of feet. But you... The hell is wrong with you? My daughter could have died! No wonder all the kids in town hate you! Maybe, if you weren't a weak little shit, none of this would have happened! Do me a solid, and stay the f away from her! Your dad's words rang in my head. If only I was stronger, I could have saved you. I was angry at myself and my weakness. Then I heard about this program called Soldier. Then one day, you woke up from your coma. You asked me. Why did you ask me up here? I wanted to see if you were all right. You know, after... Eh, it's just a week-long coma. It could happen to anyone. How about you? Are you doing all right? I'm... I'm leaving Nibelheim to go join Soldier. Oh. Any reason why? Yeah. See, there's this guy called Sephiroth. He's like the best. He's super strong, cool, and has tons of friends and parents that love him probably. I want to be just like him. Strong. So I can protect the things I care about. Nibelheim, my mom, and you. Do you think you'll ever come back to Nibelheim? You know, after you make it? Once I'm a first class soldier, I'll be sent on missions. And if one of them is in Nibelheim... I'll wait for you. So I can punch you. Punch me? Why? Well, after those other goobers left me at Mount Nibble, I need a new friend to practice my dolphin blow on. <clears throat> you want me to try it now? No, 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 no. no it, it's a great name. <laughs> but, all right, I promise. I'll come back to visit you. But not as Cloud Strife the weakling, but as Cloud Strife the first class soldier! <laughs> Showing soldier because of me. Cloud, I It's okay, Tifa. You don't need to apologize. Well, can I at least say sorry for how my dad reacted? Reacted. React. Cloud? React to her. Cloud, are you remembering something? The Nibelheim reactor. I was there. Wait. Cloud, the only people that were at the reactor were me, Zack, Sephiroth, and Ramirez. Oh my god. Cloud, you're Ramirez! You did. You did come back to Nibelheim five years ago. But not as Cloud Strife, first class soldier. I was ashamed of myself for letting you down. For breaking my promise. But Cloud, you didn't. You came back. You kept your promise. <clears throat> the promised land. Cloud, stop. Sephiroth. <clears throat> Who the hell do you think you are? <clears throat> what? I'm Cloud from Nibelheim. And I'm soldier, damn it! Hey. Long time no see. Yeah. It has been a long time. Hasn't it? Zack. So you finally figured it out, huh? Hey, if this was all just text, then I would have never known. Look, I just want to say, if it wasn't for you, I don't think I would be the person I am today. I just gave you a little nudge here and there. Everything else? That's been all you, bro. Since the day I met you, you've always been Cloud Strife, first class soldier. So, I guess this is goodbye then. For now, I'll make sure to tell her you said hi. Thank you. For everything. Cloud! Hey, Tifa. Long time no see. 
about. Oh, you asshole! You had me worried sick. Cloud? Sorry, just getting over an identity crisis is all. So, I guess I never really was in Soldier, huh? Yeah, but you did technically defeat Sephiroth, and he was the top guy. Yeah, you're right! I whooped his f***ing ass! And if that doesn't make you a first-class soldier, then I don't know what the f*** does. Oh, I can't wait to tell the others. Yeah. So, ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. And hey, Tifa? Yeah, Cloud? Thanks for being my friend. Anytime, bro. Can we check their pockets? No! Okay, so just to clarify, it was Zack that went to Nibelheim? Yes. And Cloud was Ramirez. That's right. And you don't remember what happened after you beat Sephiroth. Yep. But what about you, Tifa? I like to think I just woke up and walked out of there like a boss. And now that your pass has been cleared up, we never have to worry about it ever again? More or less, yeah. Thanks. But enough about my trauma. What have you guys been up to? Well, those numbskulls at Shinra were stealing huge materia from reactors so they could blast it at Meteor. And thanks to Avalanche Time and whatever the f Goofy's team name was, we grabbed most of it. Good job. High amounts of unstable energy exploding in the atmosphere doesn't sound like a good idea. Yeah, that's what I said. Mars. After we hit the underwater reactor in Junon, all the huge materia will be ours. Wait, if it's underwater, then that means we'll need... A submarine! Oh, man, I've always wanted to ride one of those. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Yeah! Submarines rock! Submarine song! Looks like an aqua coffee. It's so slow. It's now a bad time to say I get extremely farty when I'm claustrophobic. You drop an ass bomb, I swear I'm opening a window! It'll kill us all! <laughs> Where the f*** is the reactor? Beats me. Let's ask for direction! <laughs> We did it, guys! We got all the huge materia! <laughs> now what do we do? None of you had a plan for after, did you? Honestly, it started with f***ing Shinra and just, you know, we kind of went from there. Hey, I know! Why don't we take the humongous materia to Grandpa Boogenhagen? The f***'s a Boogenhagen? He told us the planet's run by ghosts. That's not a bad idea! Maybe you'll know how to stop Meteor, too. Well, whatever Bunga Baby comes up with can't be any dumber than what Shinra planned. Yeah, I mean, blowing up Meteor with huge materia? <laughs> Come on! Right? How the f*** would they even do that? <laughs> They'd use a rocket. Those. Yeah, I guess piling a rocket with huge materia and ramming it at Meteor would make sense. Mother! And if I was Shinra, I'd probably still try that without the huge materia. Girls! That'd be like, check it out, poor people, I've got a rocket, what up? We gotta go to Rocket Town! Why, what's there? Well, hold on, Sid, we don't know if Shinra's actually gonna do that. Uh, about that. I gotta say, sir. Firing the Shinra number 26 rocket at Meteor sounds lit AF! I know, right? Better than just letting it collect dust, right, Uncle Palmer? The northern crater is not a giant ice wall. That settles it! We're going to Rocket Town! But what about Grandpa Boogenhagen? I don't give a f about some bagel hot dog! That rocket is my only way of achieving my dreams of reaching outer space! And I am NOT gonna let those Shinra numbskulls turn my rocket into a f***ing galactic rock crusher! Just for the record, I'm claiming that one for an attack name, thank you. Alright, Sid, we'll have it your way. We'll go straight to Rocket Town. Good! That's what I like to hear. With all this huge material we're carrying, the Shinra can easily steal back. All right, I'll drop y'all off first. Don't worry, Sid. We'll get to Rocket Town as soon as the huge materia is in a safe place. And as long as we fly through all the red lights, we'll be there in no time. I'm not sure which part of that statement I should be more concerned with. Huge mungus materia secured. Set security protocol to level avalanche. What did that do exactly? Oh, you'll know. Can we hurry the f up? We got a dream to save! It would seem that time is of the essence. Yeah, but hey, I'm sure once we get to the rocket, Sid will know exactly what's going on. I have no idea what the f**k's going on. Yeah, where's Shinra? Maybe they got scared off by the crew. The ghost crew? Don't be a f**king numbskull, there ain't no such thing as ghosts. Hello, Sid. Ghost crew! Mission control? The f**k's going on? Where's Shinra? I'm doing great, Sid. Thanks for asking. Yeah, they were here, but they left after loading up the rocket with a Mako bomb. I'm sorry, a what bomb? Change the plans! We're shutting down this whole operation! Yeah, that's a big no-can-do. This 
rocket's been locked set on a timer. And once it hits zero, baby's gonna be blasting at 100 miles a minute into the great unknown. Ooh, that sounds bomb. Once again, what was that about a bomb? Well, how much longer do we got to launch? Well, based on my numbers, it should be launching in T minus uh, now. I can't believe it. Believe it, Sid. You did it. <sighs> After all this time, I'm the first man in space! Hide with Cloud! I'm the first engine in space! This must be the Mako bomb Mission Control was talking about. We've got to remove it. Barrett, is everything all right? I sense a disturbance. You let me take care of that. Yeah, good call. F*** up averted. All right, bomb's been taken care of. Now we- Unbomb <laughs> to the <laughs> Sid! What the hell are you guys doing? We're trying to save you! F*** me! Get to those escape pods before we crash in the meteor! We can't just leave you behind for the zombie crew to eat you! For the last time, there's no one on this ship! They said- Zombie crew! Shira! What the f*** are you doing here? Did you really think I was just gonna sit by and let Shinra destroy your dream? And what was your f***ing plan? Sneak on board and try to reroute the rocket's course? Do you know how f***ing hard that would be? I would have figured it out. It's not exactly rocket science. You! You! Beautiful science bitch. Come on, Sid. When we get back to Earth, I'll make you some goddamn tea. How does that sound? I f***ing love you! Hey, this is oxygen tank number eight! It is? Why does it look different? Oh, I didn't tell you. It got remastered. Finally God! I mean, a painted shitty house is still a shitty house, but you know, whatever makes you happy. You know what would make me really happy? Getting this f***ing thing off me! Wow, Shira, I had no idea you were so strong. You must work out a lot in that basement. More like working in. <laughs> and we're in an escape pod. There was no way that rocket was going to destroy Meteor. I will keep Shinra's Mako bomb here for safekeeping. Even if the rocket was filled with huge materia, I'm afraid it would not have made a difference. Well, at least we stopped it from exploding in space and causing who knows what the f*** to happen. Actually, when Mako energy is exposed in space, it- Hear that, folks? Gramps is gonna tell us about space! Well, my planet territory isn't just for sh 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 show Yeah, sure, that's great for looking, but it's different when you've been up there. Among the shining stars, the wondrous unknown, and darkness, as far as the eye can see. My kind of place. Sid, I know you're still riding the accomplished dream high, but we have to stay focused. We need a plan. Perhaps it would be best to change our way of thinking. Instead of trying to come up with a new plan, ask yourself, has one already been put into play? Aerith, when she went to the City of the Ancients, she said that only a Cetra could stop Sephiroth. I see. Cloud, if we go back there, I might be able to find something. Back to the city? Uh, I don't know if- It's okay, Tifa. Let's go, Bunga Bunga. Great! And if the high wind hasn't been scrapped for parts, we can head on over! Did I just step on? Whoa, wait! Evelyn, security, mother whoa, whoa. The planet is in crisis. I hear its pain. It's suffering. It cries out for one thing. Holy. Holy? Yes. The white materia. With the ultimate life magic. 
And perhaps our last chance at stopping Meteor. Do you know where it is? Yes, I do. But I think it would be better if I showed you. White materia. Aerith had it all along. Why is it glowing green? It must be sick. Cast Kiraga goggles. It is not sick, Nanaki. When the white materia glows green, it means that the planet has heard the prayers of Asetra. That's what she meant when she said only Asetra could stop Sephiroth. Then where is it? Why hasn't it stopped Meteor? Hmm. That's peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a little dry around this water wall. But yes, Holy not coming forth to stop Meteor is concerning. Sephiroth, his will in the life stream must be stopping it. Well, sounds to me like we know what we gotta do now. Yeah. Thank you, Aerith. We won't let your death be in vain. It still feels weird. Yellow? Cloud, hey, how's it going? Good news! We found a way to stop Meteor! You did? Oh, that's great news! You know, it's actually kind of funny because I wanted to give you guys some news. Oh, cool! Is it also good? No, it's... it's bad. It's bad news. Really? Really? Big. Bad. News. The Sister Red. That is an excellent name for the newly moved Junon Cannon Scarlet. Really shows that sense of diversity and inclusiveness we're trying to foster here at Shinra. Well-intentioned it may be, sir. Do you really think that hooking up the Sister Ray to our Mako reactor is safe? Now's not the time to worry about safe, Reeve. Now is the time for action. Nod your head if you agree, Heidegger. I like to contribute, but siphoning that much Mako energy at once, that can't be good for the planet. Don't listen to this contrarian, Mr. President. Under your, my, leadership, you, I, will bring Shinra to a new golden age of prosperity. We're the people of not just Midgar, but the whole world will look at us as heroes, gods, and there's nothing that can stop us. Ah, uh, what is that? That is probably something that could stop us. It's a weapon, and it's heading straight for Midgar. Midgar, but that's where my lane is. We gotta stop it. Don't worry, Barrett. I got a plan. You, 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 you. All right, I'm out of ideas. Looks like we got no choice, guys. We gotta beat the shit out of it. Tifa, that thing's huge! We can't take it down in a fight! Well, we gotta do something! I mean, it's not like we can just tell it to stop! Hey, buddy! So, look, I know you're all about destroying threats to the planet, but if you could just let this one slide and let us take care of it, that'd be super rad! <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, yeah, you think? Sir, the weapon is in position! We can fire on your order! The fool. Does it not realize that I'm trying to save the planet? Does it not think that what I'm trying to do will not benefit all of mankind? Does it not believe that I'll never step out of my father's shadow? No. I will be better than you, father. I will show Weapon that I am willing to utterly and completely destroy my enemies, no matter how many omelets need to be made. I'm not really sure what you're referencing, sir. Uh Fire! Looks like breakfast has been served. Still don't know what you're talking about, sir. Sir, there's a massive amount of energy headed towards Midgar! What? Well, 
At least I created the Shintranet. The barrier. It's gone. We can go in. We can end it. Yeah. We're coming for you, Sephiroth. Wait! So something's wrong! You're darn right something's wrong! Weapon took out our Shintranet Tower! The whole city's in chaos and I can't even Shinstagram it! Forget about that! Something's wrong with the sister ray! Hey, whoever's operating the sister- Hello, Ray. Hojo? Hojo, what the hell are you doing? Marco Energy. Sephiroth requires more Marco Energy! Hojo, you can't fire the sister ray again! If you do, it'll overload and destroy Midgar! Midgar is a small price to pay to see the fruits of my research. Hojo, damn it, you're in, Midgar! Irrelevant. Bye. Hojo? Hojo! What's going on? This is bad. Really, really bad. Hojo's taking over the cannon, and if he fires it again, it's gonna blow up and destroy all of Midgar! And Heidegger and Scarlet aren't doing anything! Wait, you're with them right now? I... uh... Well, well. Looks like the jig is up, Mr. Shinra Spy. You just gave up your identity. Palmer! He's dead, bro. Heidegger? Dude, did you not listen? That dumbass receptionist we met that one time? And have her executed as well. At last, with the Shinra bloodline gone, I, Scarlet J. Quistus, shall reign supreme as the new Baroness of the Sister Corporation. Ooh, let's get the Shintranet fixed so we can wrench that dome! Nobody says that! Look, just leave Hojo to Cloud and the others and I don't think so. Guards! Enjoy Hojo's dungeon, traitor. Heidegger, prepare the ultimate weapon. <laughs> Seriously, the shy fire's out and I'm Jonesin. Cloud, I'm sorry. It's not over yet, Kate. We're coming for you and stopping Hojo once and for all. Kate, you know how to get to the top of the sister ray, right? Like the palms of my hand. Because I keep crying in them. All right, then it's settled. The team's gonna be Cloud, Kate Sith, and me. For years, I have dreamed of the torment that I would induce to... Hojo! I shall make him suffer for what he has done. I will lacerate his limbs, butcher his body, and feast on his entrails, so that he is nothing more than a husk for my spider children. Oh yeah, I forgot you had spiders living inside you. I didn't. I don't know, Vincent. I mean, you're good, but all you've really got is a cool cape, a gun, and the power to turn into ungodly horrific creatures. You know what? Yeah, you're coming with us. Groovy. Hey, so I've been vomiting this whole time. What a miss. Well, Midgar's in trouble and Shinra's gone into martial law, meaning all the ways of getting in are impossible. Except for what? Soldier Star! I know a way to get to the sister ray undetected. Right on. Hey, do you know where everyone else is? Alright, so far so good. That sounds like the footsteps of a giant robot. <laughs> <laughs> and that sounds like trouble. Well, well, if it isn't the leader of Shinra's most wanted, a walking cadaver, and a talking cat person who we don't know. Behold, my ultimate weapon! Doesn't it look cool? Looks like our entire third and fourth quarter was wasted. Now, unless you want to be crushed under my feet, I suggest you move out of the way and let us deal with Hojo. After all the effort it took for us to coordinate that sick drop-in, not gonna happen. <laughs> Very well. We'll destroy both you, Hojo, and that traitor Reeve. Please do. And once all our enemies are gone, my new age of dominance shall begin. I'll increase taxes for the poor, create budget cuts to necessary public sectors, allow Moogle tail trading, and make every second Thursday of the month half price joke of a wing day! That was my idea! Every one of those laws are incredibly detrimental to us society. 
You can't do that to the people! Of course we can, Cat! We're the government. You... you two are nothing but a bunch of proud clods! That's what we named the robot! Hilarious. Now feel our destructive power! Heidegger, attack! You got it! No, you got it. Not and that's the wrong lever. I think we're gonna be here for a while. You they need to be stopped. I know just how to do it. Amen. Hey there, folks! You may know me as Kate Sith and his lovable Steve Mog. The f is that guy? But I've got news for you. My name's not Kate Sith. It's Reeve Toosty. Kate Sith is just a robot doll that I made up to hide my identity, and Mog is my internalized guilt and depression that gets filtered out through sassy one-liners. Just like you. I'm a guardian. I wait for the bus at Sector 4, I grab lunch at the Awful Falafel, and... I'm a graduate of Midgar U. Go fight Moogles. I, uh, I worked for Shinra. Because I thought that I could help people, but I, I was wrong. I realized that I was just another cog in their machine of oppression to keep the people of Midgar down while they fill their pockets and drain our planet. Shinra, now more than ever, is a threat not just to Midgar, but the entire world. It's time we rise up, band together, and stop Shinra once and for all! Because Shinra isn't Midgar! We are Midgar! We are Midgar. We are Midgar. We are Midgar. We are Midgar! We are Midgar! We are Midgar! We are Midgar! Yeah, we're friggin' Midgar! Midgar is on a Giuseppe is a good list! We only sell drugs! We, we are, are Midgar! Midgar. Rage Ronin! We are Midgar! I, I can feel it. The power of the city! It courses through my veins! Take this! The power of Midgar! You throw dice. It's a very damaging attack! Yeah, if you step on it! Shame the only thing being stepped on will be your head. Heidegger, press the button so these peasants can feel the power of the Baroness of the World! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong button. Hit one for the fair blog. Well, Scarlet, looks like your new global government is really starting off with a bang. Hojo. Ah, the failed experiment. The name's Cloud from Nibelheim. <laughs> as much as it pains me to admit this, you are right. Out of all the Sephiroth clones I attempted to create, you were my only success. Even that other soldier that was with you was a failure. Other soldier? Zack? Yes. We returned to Nibelheim after the uh, <laughs> incident to assess the situation. And that's when I found the both of you. <laughs> I took you, the soldier, and the remaining villagers to be a part of my experiment, injecting you all with Sephiroth's genetics to create clones. But after five years, you escaped. <laughs> but you said that I was a failure. Why? Simple. To take advantage of your low self-esteem. Ah, you dick. Regardless, everything has gone according to plan. And it's all thanks to Professor Gast and that subhumanoid lover of his, Ifalna. Ifalna? That's Aerith's mom. You. Gast took my experiment! So in return, I took their research. Their daughter, and their lives. But their deaths will not be in vain. For soon, my son's desire will be fulfilled. Your son? Wait, 
Are you telling me you're Sephiroth? Yes! I am his father! Well, he definitely didn't inherit your looks. But if he's your son, that means you... And Lucrezia. Yeah, busy! It was the first step to my experiment. But there were some problems that needed taking care of. You... You started all of this. That's right! And now... I'm going to end this! <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> How the hell are you gonna stop us? Because I injected myself with Genova cells! Now behold, my true power! <laughs> what the? Oh my god! <laughs> Why would you do this to yourself? Don't you see? It's what I've always wanted. I've become my fetish. <laughs> no, you've become your demise. Unholy kitty litter! I won't I bet he's gonna do something awesome! <laughs> well, that was... kinda lame. <laughs> the nightmare is over. And so, is Shinra. Yeah, there's just one thing left to do. In a few days, Meteor will strike the planet, and the only thing powerful enough to stop it is being held back by Sephiroth. He's the planet's virus, and we're the cure. We've been through a lot as a group. Lots of ups, lots of downs, happy times, scary times, sad times. When I started this journey, I was doing it for myself. But now, I fight for something more. And I know you all do too. And whether you fight for your homes, the people that matter, or redemption, at the end of the day, the thing we're fighting for is our planet's future. This will be our biggest fight yet. And I'm not asking you to risk your lives with me, so if any of you want to back out, just say the word. Cloud, you done f***ed up if you think we're leaving you behind. Yeah, bro, we can't let you have all the fun. Grandpa would barfinitely go with you, Cloud, so I'll go too. All of Hojo's abominations must be destroyed. I'd do anything for this planet. Even if it kills me. Especially if it kills me. This world, it's like a sick little kid who's scared for its life. I ain't letting no youngins die on my watch. Tifa? You even gotta ask. All right, then how about we take some time to finish up any side quests, resolve any unrelated issues, and pick up any sweet ass items slash weapons before this all comes to an end. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Yes, let's go. Let's make Sephiroth dream of becoming a god his final fantasy. <laughs> <laughs>